My main passion in life is games. I've spent most of my years playing them and the last few trying to be good at building them. I specialize in running large-scale teams in creative environments. And I should be here talking about some of my learnings, but I took the opportunity to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. So here goes. D&D is one of the most elegantly designed games ever made. It is an icon that all other role-playing games, board games, and narratives in general aspire to be. It is a game about creative, creativity and imagination, and it's set in a constraint and goal-driven world. The game setup is fairly easy. Players sit around the table, get a few papers and pens, and we're all set. The structure requires that one player acts as the dungeon master or DM for short. This is the narrator or creator of our adventure. And the other players act as the heroes and the players that are going to go through this adventure. And much like the office dungeons that we visit in our day-to-day -day lives, the heroes here collectively have a goal that they seek to accomplish. At the start of every game, a dungeon master crafts a world bound only by their imagination and the well-defined rules of the game. They can decide on a Victorian setting or a city that's hanging between two cliffs. They can decide on a world in which humans can breathe underwater or even decide on the very grim world in which our heroes need to wake up early and go to a nine to five job. <laughs> as long as the dungeon master can describe it, the game is good to go. However, no matter how far our dungeon master's imagination go, one thing must be for certain. The villain, the dragon, the treasure, the end goal must be an attainable one. Even though the journey might be long, with tons of monsters to fight, days of agony to survive, and different mountains to climb. The goal must always be within a certain reach. Our DM knows that a tale without an end is rarely worthy of a tell, and the heroes are rarely satisfied with the loop. With the goal in mind, our dungeon master looks towards a cast of heroes. D&D is a game that relies on numbers, character statistics, but perhaps even more importantly, it relies on heroes' personalities, social skills, traits and ideologies, their bonds, and even their flaws. It's a game built on the concept of branching and creative conversation, debate, and even conflict within a group of people that are seemingly not fit to be together, because they are not the same. But not being the same is the point. The same heroes will attempt to solve the same problem in the exact same way. Worse yet, the same heroes fall into the exact same traps. RDM's only job is to create an environment in which creativity thrives, where one hero could pick the other up and two heroes could discuss different ways of approach. Our dungeon master knows that in the days where, adv where adventures have grown longer, monsters have grown bigger, that the modern team of heroes should not look like this. A modern day hero is not defined by what they look like or where they come from. They are not defined by a false image or a false ideal of a hero. Heroes are defined by themselves, accepted and embraced as they are. A modern team of heroes should look closer to this. Heroes come from diverse backgrounds, ideologies, skill levels, experience, genders, race, ethnicities, and religions. And it's with their diversity that the quest for loot becomes interesting to begin with. It's a diversity in which creativity thrives. Now that we have all of our heroes ready and set up, it's time for our DM to start giving out quests, challenges, and smaller steps towards our larger goal. A good DM first makes sure to understand the different heroes' strengths and weaknesses. An even better one starts with relatively easy quests to better understand behavioral preferences as well as skill levels. An interest in an area combined with a high skill level for that area maximizes both the player's interests and the overall team efficiency in solving problems, both of which are equally important in having a healthy and highly functional team. Which brings us to the next point at hand. DMs tend to know the game, its rules, everything, in and out. Not only that, since they are laying out the challenges, they tend to know the solutions for those challenges. Or so they think. 
In a world where you need to be, where you need to have a broad range of topics that you're knowledgeable of, you are likely the least expert on any, and that is okay. That is why you're building a team of heroes. The absolute worst DMs are the ones that pigeonhole our heroes into solutions that they assume are correct. But again, they're not. Because a correct solution in a DM's mind is not the same solution an empowered, diverse group of people would come up with. DMs must give heroes the creative freedom to approach problems the way they see fit. They have to trust in their team and trust that they assembled the right team of heroes that can collaborate and collectively work towards a target and solve it in their own way. Not only will this be more rewarding for our heroes, but it's often the better and faster solution anyways. With everything set in place and proper challenges lined up, our heroes are ready to tackle the days and cycles of fighting monsters and gathering loot. Now, a lot of things in D&D are left intentionally open-ended and vague. It's a game about creativity, and a lot of these rules can be bent. However, there is one that I don't think should be, because it's so simple, yet it's brushed, brushed to the side and rarely acknowledged. No matter their power, strength, enthusiasm, passion, even the mightiest of heroes need a good night's rest. A refreshed hero comes back with even more power and enthusiasm, with even more unique creative problem-solving skills. Even in the fantasy world of D&D, where some of these heroes can fly and some of them turn into wolves, they still get tired. Even in the fantasy world, they have families to go to and lives to live outside the day-in-day -day heroics. So let the heroes rest. Given the independence, the right set of goals, a balance, our heroes are unstoppable. They will craft their own stories and reach their goal. The best stories are the ones told by the heroes themselves and the ones that the heroes themselves are proud of. Back in 1974, the world got D&D. It's a game that pushed players towards creativity, ownership, exploring identity, problem solving, and more. D&D told us to set realistic goals, to have a diverse group of people working together, to give the right challenges to the right people, to give people creative ownership, and to let them rest. D&D taught us how to run great teams. Thank you.